As someone who is seeking established coaching at all levels of an organization, the importance of instituting an effective coaching practice cannot be overstated. Hello, my name is Chris Plackey, and in this course, you will learn how to develop your own coaching practice in order to ensure buy-in from those who you lead. This is the third course in the Coaching Skills for Managers specialization. As the founder of Leadership Coach LLC, as well as an instructor with UC Davis Extension, I coach leaders all over the world to become experts at dealing with difficult people, difficult conversations, and difficult situations. If you joined us in the last course, Setting Expectations and Assessing Performance Issues, you'll remember that we talked in depth about the primary drivers for performance, people, process, and practice. We discussed the importance of developing mission, vision, and purpose statements, as well as defining key performance indicators for individual roles. We then wrapped up by talking about accountability issues and how to determine what is causing mindset or skill set gaps, as well as how to effectively coach those experiencing these gaps. In this course, we're going to take the next logical step and discuss how to design and develop an effective coaching practice within your organization. We'll begin by talking about the employee performance continuum and establishing a coaching culture. We'll then talk specifically about designing one-on-one -on -one coaching meetings for those you lead. We'll discuss how to use KPIs to diagnose performance and how to ensure consistency in your one-on-one -on -one meetings by developing a coaching agenda that works for you. In the latter half of the course, we'll talk about typical coaching scenarios and conversations and some strategies and how to approach them before wrapping up with a module about coaching the coach. After all, managers and coaches are employees too and need some coaching, right? I'm glad you've decided to take this course. I think you'll enjoy it and walk away with some great tips and things to consider as you work to establish your own coaching practice. We have a lot to cover together, so let's begin.